Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Detail Learning. I am Rajita and I am going to give you the beard notes of semester 4 that is guidance and counseling. It's unit 1 is understanding school guidance program. This is our guidance and counseling. This is a theory paper. Actually, in the optional paper, there are a lot of like uh, speeding and weaving, tailoring, and there are a lot of things that I have seen. Okay, this is that is guidance and counseling. This is a theory paper. है. So that's why I'm giving you the notes of it. This is unit 1 karenge, understanding school guidance program. When we complete the three units, we will complete semester 4 ke bhi notes. Then I will continue the notes of semester 2. Ke notes continue karungi, uh, yes, one more thing. My uh, Insta and Telegram ke ID description. Mein diye hai. Please usse show your love and support like you have shown in my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I have completed 6K. Okay, thank you so much for that. So, let us start without wasting any time. Unit 1, Understanding School Guidance Program. First comes to meanings of guidance. What is the meaning of guidance? The guidance refers to advice or information provided by a person of experience to solve a problem or improve something. This is what we normally know. Guidance means what we say. We say someone that we need some information, some advice. We are thinking about this. We need some advice. Whether I am thinking correct or not. Like we have some of our experience, our mother, father, anyone, any relatives, we have some of our experience. We say everything about guidance. The same thing here also. Here you have the same meaning. The guidance refers to advice or information provided by a person of experience to solve a problem or improve something. The guidance refers to the process of helping individuals to discover and develop their potential. The need of guidance is something that cannot be ignored by anyone. Furthermore, guidance helps in the development of educational, vocational and psychological skills in an individual. Most noteworthy guidance would help an individual to achieve an optimal level of happiness and peace in life. Moreover, an individual who receives proper guidance would surely contribute significantly to society. Okay? So, like, now you have seen that you have seen that you have seen that you have guidance that you have seen 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 Guidance is a process of dynamic. Uh, interpersonal relationship designed to influence the attitude and subsequent behavior of a person. Hamrin and Erickson said, guidance is that aspect of educational program which is concerned specially with helping the pupil to become adjusted to his present situation and to plan his future in turn with his interests, abilities and social needs. Leafy were Turrell and Witzel they said that guidance is an educational service designed to help students make more effective use of school's training program. And Johns said that guidance involves personal help given by someone. It is designed to assist a person to decide where he want to go, what he want to do or how he can best accomplish his purpose. It assists him to solve problems that arise in his life. Okay, so now someone is a student, a teacher, or a teacher, or a person, or an experienced person, we call this guidance. This was the meaning of guidance. Now comes to concept. Concept. The concept of guidance is quite democratic in nature. This is because a properly guided individual would be able to shape his destiny. Guidance ensure that each individual's choices must serve the interest of the society as well as the interest of the individual. You do interest in anyone, but uh, if you do guide kare nahi, do this, do this, do this, will you be able to perform it properly? No, not at all. So that's what I have here. Next comes to the principle of guidance. The principles of guidance certainly form the basis of the need of guidance. Furthermore, principles of guidance are important principles without which guidance cannot take place. Below are the principles of guidance. First is the principle of all-round development. Guidance must take into account the all-round development of the person. Furthermore, 
guidance must ensure this desirable adjustment in any specific area of the individual personality. Next is the principle of human uniqueness. Certainly, no two individuals are alike. Furthermore, individuals differ in mental, social, physical, and emotional development. Moreover, guidance must recognize these important differences and guide individuals according to their special needs. Isn't it? If you and your friend are in a classmate, then it is necessary that you both are the same. Everything will be the same. Mental, physical, emotional development will be the same. No, no. The principle of holistic development. This principle states that guidance must take place in the context of total personality development. Moreover, a child grows as a whole. Also, if one aspect of personality is in focus, then the other areas of personality, sorry, other areas of development must be kept in mind. Most noteworthy, these, uh, these other areas of development indirectly influence the personality. Hena? एक चीज पे ही हम लोग सिर्फ फोकस नहीं कर सकते हैं एक बच्चा अगर ग्रो कर रहा है इट मीन सभी कुछ उसमें ग्रो कर रहे हैं ऑलराउंड डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है तो उन सब चीज को ध्यान में रखना पड़ता है ठीक है प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कोऑपरेशन दिस प्रिंसिपल स्टेज दैट देर कैन नॉट बी एनी फोर्स ऑन एनी इंडिविजुअल रिगार्डिंग गाइडेंस मोर ओवर द कोऑपरेशन एंड कंसेंट ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल इज प्री रिक्वेसाइड फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग गाइडेंस नेक्स्ट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी The principle says that the guidance must take place as a continuous process to an individual. Also, this guidance must take place in different stages of different individuals' life. है ना जरूरी नहीं ना सबको एक ही स्टेज पे गाइडेंस की जरूरत हो. Principle of extension. In this principle, there should not be a limitation of guidance to a few individuals. Most noteworthy, the extension of guidance must be to all individuals of all stages. Okay. Principle of adjustment. It is certain. It is certainly true that guidance influence every aspect of an individual's life. However, guidance is chiefly concerned with a person's mental or physical health. Furthermore, this adjustment takes place at school, home, society, and vocation. Okay, so here we have completed the principles of guidance. Now comes to the need of guidance. So, guidance certainly has an enormous need in every individual's life. Below are some factors which highlights the need for guidance. First is different stages of development. The division of an individual's life can take place into various stages. These stages are infant, childhood, pre-adolescent. adolescence and manhood so an individual needs guidance in every stage of life maximum guidance is required during the adolescence stage okay next is differences among persons uh, psychology informs us that no individuals are alike furthermore no two individuals get similar opportunities in life therefore every individual requires guidance in order to find out the most suitable profession for him next is career maturity guidance is certainly essential for the development of a positive work attitude furthermore guidance would help build suitable habits and values towards one's work or profession this is because guidance increases the awareness of one's world of work also an individual is able to plan and prepare for his work or profession efficiently due to guidance last point is educational growth guidance certainly helps in the development of educational skills and abilities above all these skills would facilitate learning and achievement now comes to the importance of guidance importance of guidance Indeed the scope of guidance is very vast and extending one as it gives much emphasis on various aspects of human life with due importance it does not ignore any aspect of life the need and importance is much more felt by every individual as the human life getting more complex and the world undergoes to various changes day by day Besides that guidance is an essential help which is given 
which is given to the needy person at any stage or age of individual's life. The scope of the guidance extends its long hand in helping needy individual. The following considerations regarding suitable selection of suitable courses and subject. ये सब चीज के लिए हम लोग guidance की जरूरत पड़ती है हमें ठीक है Better choice of preferable vocations or occupations. Preparation for a better job. Proper placement in the world of works. Uh, being interest for higher education and training. Clear cut knowledge and applying and availing the scholarship, sure gain of the achievements in favorable field, improvement of regular study habits, maintenance of the physical health relating physical exercises, food, etc., development of the mental health, solution of the personal adjustment problems. The last one is careful and fruitful suggestions for social adjustment problems. Guidance has wide sphere of importance and uses are concerned. It has no limited use in case of secondary school students at their problems. Rather, guidance is also needed for college and university students to have a better reach and solution of their problem. Okay, so this was the importance of guidance and now comes to the types of guidance. Types of guidance. Guidance mainly divides into three types and these three types of guidance are the main tools that guide a teacher or students in his working. First is the educational guidance. It refers to that guidance that a child or student need during his school life. Also, it helps them to solve the problem that they face in school. In addition, it gives all the required details that children need related to the school they find most suitable. Most noteworthy education is the process that guides and directs children for her or his proper development. Every aspect of school education is strongly related to educational guidance. Moreover, it includes the aim, objectives, discipline, syllabus and the role of the teachers, methods of teaching and co-curricular activity. In addition, these guidance help in the adjustment of the course of study according to the ability and skill of the student. This process helps a student to make wise choices in relation to his education life ahead. Most noteworthy, this process assists a person to plan her or his education plan and carry it forward without any problem. तो ये सिंपल लैंग्वेज में मैंने बनाया सिंपल लैंग्वेज में नो नीड टू एक्सप्लेन एजुकेशनल गाइडेंस वॉट एवर द स्टूडेंट्स आर गेटिंग इन द स्कूल स्कूल में जो भी टीचर्स उन्हें गाइड कर रही है जो भी गाइडेंस उन्हें मिल रहा है दैट इज द एजुकेशन गाइडेंस फॉर देर फर्दर स्टडीज एंड स्किल्स एंड एवरीथिंग ठीक है नाउ कम्स टू द वोकेशनल गाइडेंस इट रिफर्स टू दैट टाइप ऑफ गाइडेंस इन विच ऑर्डिनरी इन्फॉर्मेशन इज प्रोवाइडेड रिगार्डिंग चूजिंग द ऑक्यूपेशन Also, it prepares them for the occupation and helps in entering and progressing. Besides, it is also known as vocational development. Most noteworthy in modern education, its perspective is much wider. This type of guidance helps a person to know her or his strength and weakness. Moreover, it helps them to choose a vocation for their better adjustment with every with every situations in other words vocational guidance helps a person choose his career and other aspects related to it it is an assistance that helps students and children to know the world of vocation by getting in the school most noteworthy it is an early exposure to students about the variety of jobs choices they would have later in life it is a motivation for hard work in school or college studies Vocational guidance helps children to know what they are capable of and what they can become in life. And this ultimately depends on what they are capable to do in their school life. In addition, they need to be on the right track to prepare them for life. जो भी अपने फ्यूचर के लिए जॉब के लिए ऑक्यूपेशन के लिए जो भी दे आर टेकिंग द गाइडेंस दैट इज द वोकेशनल गाइडेंस नाउ कम्स टू द पर्सनल गाइडेंस It refers to that type of guidance where a person or individual overcome their problems on their own. Also, it is the assistance that is provided to an individual to solve their social, mental, morals, health, and ethical problems. 
Besides, it helps in solving those problems which we cannot solve with just vocational and educational guidance. Personal assistance is of two types, written and oral. ठीक है दो तरह के होते हैं रिटर्न और ओरल दे हेल्प टू मेक एन एडजस्टमेंट इन आर लाइफ मोर ओवर इट इज द गाइडेंस दे लेट अस नो व्हाट वी आर नाउ एंड व्हाट वी कैन बिकम लेटर इन लाइफ बिसाइड्स इट हेल्प चिल्ड्रन एंड स्टूडेंट टू हेल्प देम एंड लुक एट देम फ्रॉम द राइट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इन द केस ऑफ पर्सनल गाइडेंस वी ऑब्जर्व दैट इट इज नॉट एन ईजी टास्क and the total development of an individual's personality depends on the development of personal habits and attitudes that's why most of the individual face this problem in life okay now comes to the guidance services a school guidance program constitutes a cluster of activities which enable the students to overcome their educational vocational personal or social problems that they face during the different phases of development it forms an integral part of school education and is non instructional in nature a guidance program constitute various services a school guidance program largely consists of six services they are orientation counseling pupil inventory occupational information placement and follow up services each of these services is distinct due to their specific function theek okay? hai first is the orientation service it is generally noted that when students shift from one school to another they find it difficult to immediately accept and adjust to the new surrounding an entry into a non familiar or new situation may lead to certain adjustment problems among the students to overcome this obstacle the orientation services are organized specially to familiarize the students with the new surroundings and they will adapt themselves and make necessary adjustment hence it is always advisable to begin any educational course or programs with an orientation activity next comes to the occupational information service This is a service which can be provided by the integrated effort of a teacher, counselor and career teacher. The main objective of the service is to provide the students information about the educational opportunities in various levels related to training programs and occupations available. This helps the students to be aware of the options open to them with respect to the particular course or subjects in any of the above areas. है ना लाइक वी कैन से कि टेंथ के बाद में वॉट एवर वी आर टेकिंग जो भी सब्जेक्ट्स हम लोग ले रहे हैं ठीक है वी आर टेकिंग साइंस कॉमर्स तो साइंस में अगर आप ले रहे हो तो उसके अंदर क्या क्या चीज़ आते हैं कॉमर्स ले रहे हो उसके अंदर में आप क्या क्या चीज़ आते हैं क्या क्या चीज़ को आप करियर चूज़ कर सकते हो किस किस में आपका करियर हो सकता है उस हिसाब से ना हम लोग चूज़ करते हैं वही हो गया नाउ कम्स टू द काउंसलिंग सर्विस दिस सर्विस इज द मोस्ट फंडामेंटल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ गाइडेंस प्रोसेस The purpose of it is to assist the students in the process of all-round development. It provides an opportunity to the individual to discuss their plans and problems with a professional or counselor in a helping environment. The process ultimately makes a person capable of self-directing and self-sufficient. This service can be practiced only by a counselor. Now comes to the placement service. The placement service makes an effort to help those students secure employment who are either in school or have left the school. The school provides certain facilities to which the employment needs of the students are met either through special placement personnel or by integration services of the other guidance personnel. Next is the pupil inventory service. Apart from knowing the general characteristics of student it is also very essential to identify the specific abilities predominant among the students before a counselor or career teacher assess them the various aspects that have to be assessed before one guides a student are his aptitude achievement interest attitudes social economic status family background etc the pupil inventory service helps in recording and maintaining of these data these records can be prepared by the collaborative effort of the teacher counselor and career teacher through various techniques okay organizations of school guidance program 
the organization of guidance program at the school requires cooperative effort of various personnel present both within and outside the school the program must be planned with the assistance of various personnel like the school principal the staff counselor career master and the parents prerequisites uh, prerequisites of a guidance program some of the preliminary task needed to be undertaken to organize a guidance program are first formation of a guidance committee which comprises of at least 7 to 8 members the committee would be constituted of various personnel such as at least two parent two teacher a counselor and a career master second is decisions are and arrangements must be made regarding the allotment of budgets for conducting the various services and third is the suitable arrangements need to be made to acquire minimal minimum infrastructural and physical facilities such as a guidance cell or room tables chairs various psychological test and other required literatures okay now comes to the planning of a guidance program the following steps are necessary to be undertaken to plan the guidance program first make a survey of the available guidance services existing in the school or institution second identify the student need or areas where assistance is required third obtain the opinion of the staff members and ascertain the extent of assistance possible from them fourth statement of explicit objective for the guidance program on the basis of the student needs and fifth is the specification of the various functions of each guidance service for the smooth functioning of guidance service a well planned guidance program is necessary it facilitates coordination of activities among the personnel in an integrated pattern in brief the guidance committee first identifies the program objectives based on the survey of the students need and characteristics this is followed by the preparation of a yearly plan of the school guidance program further keeping in view the objective the committee prepares a tentative plan or chart indicating the functions of various personnel next another subsidiary chart is prepared specifying the duties or tasks to be performed by each person this is the last topic of this unit addressing issues of guidance program in school the guidance teachers did not have adequate guidance skills a more comprehensive guidance curriculum should be incorporated in pre service courses for all the teachers to ensure that they are fully trained counselors as well as regular in servicing for practicing guidance and counseling in schools okay second inadequate time to render guidance services guidance department should be adequately staffed and guidance be allocated adequate time in the school timetable to enable teachers to comfortably handle their clients without overstretching into their free time third guidance program lacked sufficient administrative support especially on financial provision to run the program effectively funds be deliberately allocated to the guidance department and where possible parents and community based organizations be involved and the last one is lack of motivation of teachers recognition and motivation be provided for the guidance teacher not only for the guidance teacher agar dekha jaye to motivation is required to all the teachers they need to be motiv- motivated means what appreciated i can say yeah appreciated all the teachers are need to be appreciated isn't it aap unhe ek bar appreciate kijiye next time dekhiye wo aapko aur aur better karke denge ye aapke school ke principal ko samajhne ki koshish samajhna chahiye ki मे बी अभी अगर कुछ उन्होंने किया है तो जस्ट क्या करना ही क्या है जस्ट से सम वर्ड्स उनके लिए कुछ अच्छे वर्ड्स बोल दीजिए येस यू हैव डन वेरी वेल और ऐसा वैसा कुछ भी बहुत अच्छा किया है नेक्स्ट टाइम और अच्छे करना सो उन्हें भी थोड़ा सा मोटिवेशन मिलता है डेट येस दिस टाइम आई डन क्वाइट वेल नेक्स्ट टाइम हमें और अच्छा करना वट ठीक है तो ये सारे ही स्कूल के प्रिंसिपल के लिए इफ एनी प्रिंसिपल इज वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो देन प्लीज 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 अप्रिशिएट योर टीचर्स उनसे वो काफ़ी ज़्यादा मोटिवेट होती हैं ठीक है so here we have completed the unit 1 of guidance and counseling we'll be back with another video of unit 2 okay 
uh, one more thing if this video is helpful for you ye notes agar aapke liye helpful hai then please like my video and subscribe my channel theek hai and yes one more thing mere insta aur telegram id ko bhi subscribe karna na bhule please thank you thank you so much thank you for watching and